Hello and welcome back. I know I've been away for a while, so I have a whopping five new subscribers to thank. So, hoping not to forget anybody. Thank you to Jury and Cami, Troy100, uh, PL Funby, Ikey Love, and Me and the Moon123. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate your subscribing. And now, on with the haul. This is from the Book Thing of Baltimore, which is a wonderful nonprofit that gives out free books every weekend and also accepts your donations of any unwanted books. And this is pretty gargantuan, so I'm going to try to get started. Here's one that I was incredibly excited to find. This is called A People Betrayed, and it's a novel by Alfred Doblin, who wrote the great Berlin Alexander plots which was also made into a great film, except for the last two hours, but never mind about that, by Fassbinder, and also a pretty good 1931 film. But that was Berlin Alexanderplatz. And I had no idea that he'd even written another novel, but apparently he did. And as you can see, I, I'm going to be able to have some time with it as well. It's pretty big. Then I got The Dark Sister, a novel by Rebecca Goldstein. I read Goldstein's other no or one of Goldstein's other novels, The Mind-Body Pro Problem, and really enjoyed that. Young Adult Novel, Trying Hard to Hear You by Sandra Scopatone, or Scopatone, sorry. And The Secret Life of Algernon Pendleton by Russell H. Greenan. The Man Who Loved Children by Christina Stead. Erasure by Percival Everett. I read another one of his novels called Wounded, which I was not that crazy about, but this one sounds really great. It's um, a satirical novel about a novelist. Then I was so excited to find this. This is Ice Blues by Richard Stevenson, and it's part of the Donald Strachey Private Eye series. I've been looking for anything by Richard Stevenson for quite a while because I saw the first Donald Strachey film called Third Man Out and really liked it and wanted to read some of the books. So really glad to have found this. And then another one I was really excited to find, Bee Monkey by Andrew Davies. Andrew Davies is an incredibly prolific screenwriter for British television. If you've seen any recent classic masterpiece theater adaptations, I mean, Andrew Davies probably wrote them. And he also wrote the House of Cards series about the unscrupulous prime minister. And he wrote the screenplay to the film based on his novel, Bee Monkey, which starred Asia Argento. And I, I enjoyed the film, and I'm looking forward to reading the novel. And then I got Deserted Cities of the Heart by Lewis Shiner, a novel. Minor Poets of the 17th Century. La Divina Caricatura by Lee Breuer. You'll see I got mostly fiction today. Memories of the Future by Sigismund Krzyzanowski. Uh, here's a nonfiction. The Joyful Community, an account of the Bruderhof, a communal movement now in its third generation by Benjamin Zablowski. This is about a Christian commune in, I believe, Germany, I want to say. Oh, no, New York. Never mind. A novel, The Green House, by Mar Mario Vargas Llosa, who you may recall recently won the Nobel Prize. The Gadfly, by E. L. Voynich, apparently now the number one American bestseller in Russia according to the cover and what they lie to us. The Twilight of the Elephant by Elio Vitorini, a famous post-war Italian novelist. Volume one of Wole Soyenka's plays, another Nobel Prize winner. What the Western Approaches, Poems 1973 to 75 by Howard Nemirov. The Oblivion Ha Ha, 60 Poems by James Tate. What Thou Lovest Well Remains American, Poems by Richard Hugo. I love Richard Hugo. He um, wrote a great collection of poems called The Lady in Kicking Horse Reservoir. 
and one of the poems in that anthology was the uh, epigraph for Richard Crumley's great hard-boiled novel, The Last Good Kiss. So that was how I discovered Richard Hugo. Modern European Poetry, an anthology. The Juniper Tree by Barbara Commons. I was incredibly excited to find this because Commons isn't really that famous a writer, but she wrote a great little novel called The Vet's Daughter, which I read a few years ago, and I was very glad to discover another one of her works. The Hospital Sketches by Louisa May Alcott, a nonfiction account of her time as a nurse during the Civil War. really excited to find this. This is the Modern Library Anthology of Great Tales of Terror and the Supernatural. And I was really excited to find it because for the longest time they had a copy there, but it didn't have any front cover. The front cover had been ripped off, and I just have trouble reading books without front covers. So I was glad to find this edition. And then another exciting fa find, I found five books by Michael Moorcock, who is one of my favorite science fiction writers. I found The Dragon and the Sword, The Vanished Tower, The Vanishing Tower, apologize, The Silver Warriors, The Champion of Garethorn, and The City in the Autumn Stars. And then I, whoops, then I got The Night Clerk, a novel by Stephen Shank. Tira Lira by the River by Jessica Anderson, another novel. A Scots Quare by Lewis Grassic Gibbon. You may remember a while ago I got a book called Sunset Song, which is actually the first volume in this tetralogy, so I'll be able to get rid of that and save a tiny bit of space which will be amply taken up by the rest of my acquisitions. Then I got The Connoisseur, a novel by Evan S. Connell. He wrote Mrs. Bridge and Mr. Bridge, which are two great novels. And um, actually, I've only read Mrs. Bridge, but I'm looking forward to reading a lot more of his work because I thought that was just terrific. Then Love and Garbage by Ivan Klima. The Hustler by Walter Tevis. This was the basis for the film starring Paul Newman. Personal Velocity by Rebecca Miller. This is the novel on which the film of the same name was based, and Rebecca Miller also wrote and directed that film, which I thought was quite good. Then Des Poètes Français, 15e, uh, um, 7e siècle. David Plant, the Frank Kerr trilogy. Dix septième, I'm sorry. The Late Mathieu Pascal by Luigi Pirandello. I'm sorry, so this should be Des Poètes Français, quinzième au dix septième siècle. Or no, a seizième. All right, my Roman numerals, it's, basically, it's 15th to 17th century for those of you who don't speak French. Um, the Benefactor, a novel by Susan Sontag. This is Red Earth, White Earth, a novel by Will Weaver. And this is a bit of a mystery because I am hoping that this is the same Will Weaver who wrote a young adult novel a while ago called Claws, which is quite possibly one of the best young adult novels I've ever read. Um, that's Claws, C-L-A-W-S. Um, so I'm not sure if this is the same person. I need to do a little research, but I'm hoping it is. Then The Keys to Tulsa by Brian Fair Berkey. Come to Me, Stories by Amy Bloom. Pedro Paramo by Juan Rulfo. This is Selected Literary Criticism of D.H. Lawrence. Big D.H. Lawrence fan and I I've read all his major novels at this point, some of his criticism and poetry, and I hope to just read everything he's written. I think he's great. And a couple of 
French art criticism books by Elie Faure, L'Esprit des Formes, the volume one and volume two. And some literary criticism by Philippe Soleil, L'Écriture et l'Expérience des Limites. I, uh, Soleil also wrote a fair amount of fiction, and I just read one of his short stories, which I really liked. So I'm looking forward to reading more by him. And he's also married to Julia Kristeva, who is also a literary critic. Or what, I think they're still married, or I'm not sure who's still alive or what, but they at one time were married. And Out of Mind by Jay Burnleff. Up, a novel by Ronald Sukenik. This is a biography of Enid Starkey by Joanna Richardson. Enid Starkey wrote a pretty well-known biography of Arthur Rimbaud, which I have not read yet, but I have that sitting around. So I've got her biography of Rimbaud, and now I'm getting somebody else's biography of Enid Starkey. And then Dark Reflections by Samuel R. Delaney. Delaney is a pretty famous fantasy and science fiction writer. This one looks to be a bit of a more realistic novel. Before My Time, a novel by Maureen Howard. Sorrel and Sun by Warwick, Warwick Deeping. The Epicure's Lament, a novel by Kate Christensen. Moscow Racetrack by Natalie Gladilin. Sour Sweet by Timothy Moe. This is another Rebecca Goldstein novel, although she's now going by Rebecca Newberger Goldstein. This is 36 Arguments for the Existence of God, and this is her most recent novel. Then I got this really cool looking anthology of poetry for children by Walter de la Mar. It's called Come Hither, or yes, Come Hither. Um, novel by Guy Descartes, Les Sept Femmes, or The Seven Women. Um, let's see, ah, another Elie Faure art history book, Histoire de l'art, this is L'art Renaissance, or Renaissance art, I believe. And then a uh, collection of essays by Michel Butor, Essays sur le roman, or Essays on the novel. And yet another art history. This is by the François Pillon, Les sculpteurs françaises du XIIIe siècle, or French sculptors of the 13th century. And last but not least, I found this book about Art Nouveau from the Museum of Modern Art. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me for my next video.